I mean, when, you might have to do like an extra spray when you first do it, like an oil. It is breaking my heart. I know you're gonna like that for playing with me hey what's going on everybody this is not chef monty this is mario actually chef monty is in florida right now and we're about to kick it over to him i'm handling the controls over here you know i love this technology stuff so here you go baby you there hello everybody what's up what's up this is me you know your boy chef monty and yes we are not in my normal kitchen um i am actually here with my friend hi um, she is hosting today. I'm really just kind of here as an additive. Um, I can tell introduce you, so so I'm not like you know. Hi guys, I'm Nisha, and we're here in Florida. This is our yes. kitchen. How are you using? Yes, and so Nisha and I we met in high school. I believe it or not, it was so many years ago. Um, I can't believe that my God, over ten years ago. Yeah, so we met in high school um, down here in Brandon. And I'm actually down here visiting family, and so I we talk all the time because she's actually. She started her um her new company. Yes. Check out her shirt. Yes. Heavenly, what does it say? Heavenly Doe is yeah. my business name. Yes, and so um so I just thought like um you know y'all know what I do um I just like okay let's get together you know my girl bait let me get with her let me help her you know get her name out there you know she's just starting out so you know y'all be patient with her and everything um you know we always got to start somewhere but I decided I was gonna come to her place. Use her kitchen and just we just gonna cook together. Have a good time tonight. Um, we will probably go. Uh, I don't know if I told you on that. We're gonna be doing a strawberry pound cake. Um, strawberries, her favorite is actually my favorite cake. Um, so we're just gonna cook, have a good time. We this is very different. I, it is very fun. She's actually my first guest that is actually um, on this show that that we do. So this is the first appearance that we have. Um, I'm sure it'll be more like this or whatever. But we're gonna get into it. Um, is there anything you want to like tell the people about you that you want them to know? Like, you know, anything about your company coming up? Like what you plan on doing? Um, so I first started off doing cupcakes and then um, during the quarantine, I was like, I want to be a great grandma that can bake. And mm -hmm. in order to be a great grandma, you got to start with the first child. So I just um, found out that I just enjoy baking. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just starting out with the cake decorating. So I'm very artsy, so I'm just giving it a try and see what I can do. I'm starting with very simple, basic cake decorations, mm -hmm. and then I'll work my way up to the big leaves. Absolutely. So right now, I'm going to just stay in my lane with smaller decorations. <laughs> yeah, so if you're in the local Tampa area, Riverview, Brandon, and you need, like, small cakes and things like that, hit her up. Eventually, eventually I'm sure she'll be at a point where she's, you know, baking all types of fancy stuff. You know, I started one day at a small, simple thing. I had quite a few mess ups and then eventually, and obviously you all know the see the things that I've done. So um, we just motivating our fellow bakers, um, a beautiful woman, beautiful woman of color and we support her. So we thank you all for the love and support. I think Mario did already put where you can follow her um, on her um, social media platforms and um, her company name. So if you're wanting to know who she is, you kind of see the things that we're doing, you want to know something that's local, follow her on those platforms. But anyways, we won't be before you too long tonight. We're going to go ahead and get started with our ingredients. We kind of got everything out. I'm getting used to this kitchen. So, um, you know, I will, I will be led by Nisha. So she is in charge today. I'm just a sous chef. And um, she's actually going to teach you all a few things, too, that we're actually going to start with, which is um, greasing our uh, butt pans. She has, I guess I'll let you explain that. Okay, so I have this stuff called cake goop. It's, I pre-made it. I actually stole it from this lady off of YouTube called um, uh, Geek Shoot. I just forgot her name, but um, Geek Squad. I want to say she goes by. Mm -hmm. It's um, flour, oil, and some Crisco lard. Lard, Crisco lard, all the same difference. Yeah, same thing. So pretty much what I do every time I need to make a cake, I take my little brush and put a little bit on here, and I just paint it liberally because I don't want any cake sticking. So now Mandra, she's teaching me this and I've never heard this before. And so I'm learning something new today. So and that just goes to show you that even though I have maybe a little bit more experience than Nisha, but she's still teaching me something new. And so no matter what you do in life, just always know there's somebody that's out there that can teach you something you don't know. Absolutely. And just keep your mind open because I'm not one of those chefs that, oh my God, I know everything, don't teach me nothing. I've been doing this for 
I'm 10 years, you know, I'm not that type of person. So she brought this thing and I was like, okay, I'll work with teach you. I'll let you teach the people. So she teach me something new. And this may be something I might, y'all might see in my videos and I always give shout out to where I learned something. So if I, if y'all see me with this um, Kate Goo, you're gonna learn that, you know, hey, I got that from Nisha years ago or whatever. So anyways, I'm always open to learning something new. So while she is um, greasing her pan, whatever you, all have because I'm sure a lot of you like to go back and watch these videos and um, and do do these cakes or whatever. If you don't have this um, cake goo, you can use any Baker's Joy. Um, if you have regular like um, um, vegetable oil, or olive oil, and flour, you can do that too. Pretty much use what you got. And as I always say, if you are new following me, um, um, you can follow me on any of my platforms. I can give you better uh, details. Like on my, I have a um, YouTube channel called Cooking with Chef Monty which this video will probably make it over there. I don't know when, probably later on. I don't know, depending on you know how busy me and my husband get this week. And um, you can follow me on my platform. Also, for all of you all that have been following me and Mario, this is not about the cooking to the show, but a lot of you all have been following Mario now since you've seen us on the Ellen Show. We want to say thank you so much for the love and support. You all have been absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's like we can't go anywhere without anybody knowing who we are now. And it's like, it's weird. It's like we're... The other day we were celebrating um, my nephew's 18th birthday and um, this lady comes up to us at the, at the place. She's like, I don't mean to be rude, but like, um, are you two of the guys that are on the Ellen show? Uh, I just want to say, I just love your story. So we get there all the time and we just kind of like, you know, um, it just kind of like opens our eyes to show you how like, how your story can really touch people. And we're just naturally being ourselves. And um, pretty much we're just grateful for everyone who's reached out to us, who's donated to our platforms, um, who's, you know, sewn into our life, all the letters, all the support. We thank you all for the baby gifts, everything you've been sending. It's just been crazy. The baby's not even here yet. And you all have been sending absolutely like overloading of stuff. So we thank you. And on that note, if you choose to donate into um, um, Nisha's, you know, platform for up and coming business, you can do so at any of the platforms that you see on the screen. All donations will go towards her and start her business. We love um, supporting our locals and um, local small owned business. So if you could, if you would be so kind, if you would like to donate it to her, that is the platform that you can donate to her if you're, um, on. Thank so anyways, you thank you in advance, she says. So we're going to go ahead and um, switch. So she just greased the pan. She did the hard work. <laughs> now we get, we're going to sit into the side. Um, you're going to set your oven at 325. Um, if you have a um, um, convection oven, um, a lot of some people do, some people don't. I know me, it's really important. Um, like I got that installed specifically because I have a fan that rotates. But if you don't have a convection oven, cook it at 325. If you do um, have a convection oven, you'll cook it at 350, but you'll cook it for a shorter period of time. We'll get to the time when we get to that point. So anyways, she also so kindly has a um, mixer that we're going to be using. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Where should I go? Okay. All right. Don't do that. Look, I'm not coming here to break up her stuff. Break um, because you break you buy it, and um, I don't know if I want to buy it. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me I was gonna be matching with the mixer. Yeah. Oh, she planned it, y'all. Yeah. She literally went out and bought this mixer just because she knows I have one blue. <laughs> That's like my favorite color. Is it really? Mario's favorite color is maroon. Mine is purple. Oh, that is my um, second favorite. Which one, maroon? Burgundy. Mm -hmm. A burgundy maroon, yeah. All those the same. It's a good so, color. What'd you say, babe? It's a good color. It is. Yeah, okay. And it looks really good on my husband. So for a long time, I'll tell you this while we get this set up. Mario used to tell me that his favorite color was red. And so I used to get all this red stuff and like, um, I used to get all this red stuff. And then one day he was like, oh, my actual favorite color is the color of my car. And I was like, cause I was like, okay, that's not, when I think of red, I think of like cherry red like this. This is red to me. Yeah, not a red. Right. And so he kept saying red. I was like, I would get him like cases and gifts that color. And then he finally told me one day that he was uh, into, um, his actual favorite color was maroon. I was like, okay, that's maroon. That's not necessarily red. It's, it's in the red family, it's but it's not red. But anyways, um, yeah, so anyway, we also got Greg in the back. So um, if you see Greg, this is Greg in the back. This is Nisha's husband. He also went to high school with us. Um, 
So, you know, we all are, well, they're old, I'm still young and cute. Hey, Bear, I think you can try moving the camera a little, if you want to. I'll be 31 in September. Oh, thanks. Is he, he's older than me, right? August. Oh, sorry. Right, you older than me, your birthday in August. Yeah, y'all right now, I should me. What did you say, babe? I said, I think you could try moving the camera if you want to. Oh, you mean like, oh, I'm like scared. So I'm supposed to be the cameraman? No, you're good. Never mind. Keep it like that. Oh, okay. Remember, right. I don't want. This is that, the, this is the that's good right there. That's good. That's good. Oh, wait. Right here? So do I need to raise it up? No, keep it right there. Right here. Yeah. And then turn it towards you, some, I guess. So I'm going to be giving instructions, and, and I'll be behind this. So if I have to move it, I can. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create. We, for when we do pound cakes, we're going to do, um, we do a, a cream. I, this, this first method is called a creaming method. There are uh, four different forms of um, making a cake. And today we're going to be doing a creaming method. And that's when you cream your fat and your sugar. So butter, whatever. So we're going to cream our three sticks of uh, butter. And three cups of sugar. That's what we're gonna today. Okay. Okay. Let's do. This is cute. Thank you. Oh yeah, bigger. Yeah. So we, so um, we right now we're mixing. Oh, this is cute. It's on the inside. Yes. I like this. See y'all. She fancy y'all. I got the Walmart brand stuff. She got the. That's, that's, no, that's part of Pioneer Woman. Uh, or, or even looks. Oh, From Walmart. Yeah, but Pioneer Woman is expensive. I love her stuff, though. I'm not. I'm talking mess, but I. It's I, the I, colors I, for me. It's the colors for me. It's the colors for me. It's everything for me. <laughs> so, like um, Woman, so, yeah, I see you all fancy and cute. <laughs> okay, so um, three sticks of butter, three sticks, or uh, three cups of sugar. This is a really easy recipe to remember, by the way. Which, um, I eventually I'll probably write it down somewhere. You got three in there? Uh-huh, I'll three okay. in there. Three cups of sugar, okay. and then the thing is behind it. All right. Clean up. So I get to be the sous chef and the cleaner today. So whoa, whoa. let's go. Yay. All I need is a little All I've ever wanted in life. Okay, what? so what are we beating this on? Um, You're going to beat it on a medium low. Okay. So we're going to beat this on a medium low. Oh, we actually got lots of Yes. My bad. <laughs> oh, we try to take out everything. We try to take everything out. I'm going to cut it. Hey, Heather said, go till the spirit tells you to stop. So Heather said, go till the spirit tells you to stop. Oh. Do it till the spirit tells you to stop, Heather. That's one of my neighbors. So, um, babe, she has the same trash can as us. We bougie around here, just a little bit. She got the same, I know you, I know you bougie. Say no more. So anyway, so while this is mixing, um, is this, what is this for, for use? Cause I, I need to crack eggs and something like this. Can we use that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have also. Yeah, Ooh, girl, you don't stop. Look at this, y'all. What she got? You know, I just love Pioneer Woman. She does it for me. Um, Pioneer does it for her. Hey, real fast, if you can turn the camera a little bit to the left, a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna be the cameraman. Just Nisha's a little bit to be, left. Um, baking. Okay. Okay, so you tell me. Turn to the left a little bit. Camera too. Just to the left. Can you see that? Yeah, where you were is fine, but just oh. turn it to the left a little bit. Okay, so is that good? Keep going. Left? No, other way, other way, other way, sorry. Oh, that's right. Keep going, keep going. Can you keep see going. in the bowl? No, it's fine. But you know, I can, I, can, I can lift it so you can see. Okay. Go and be the cameraman then. Go so everybody can see it. It looks good. Oh, here. Okay, can you see? Yep. Okay, so um, once all of the butter and sugar comes together in that paste, like you see it, oh, I forgot we're gonna need a, like a spatula, a spatula, like you know, scrape the sides now. So once it's all incorporated like that and it's nice and fluffy, as you can see it. I wonder if I. Can... Oh uh, yeah, that size that'd be good. The that one, yeah. So once you get to that point. Um, and we'll we'll cut it. Yeah, we'll cut it down, and we're gonna um we're gonna crack our eggs and put an egg in one at a time. One at a time. Yep, one many, at a time. How many eggs are we doing? We're gonna do all six. That's right. All six. Yep. Can y'all see that good? Can they you see that good? The eggs in front of the people. Yeah. There you go. So I'll let you. Uh, <laughs> let me see. 
Okay. That's Here good. Go. Yep. So I'll just do, um, I, I use, I'm not going to be trying to be fancy today. So while this is still going, I'm going to do one egg at a time. Oh, that's a nice little trick. Yeah, because um, sometimes, you know, the shells get in there and, you know, the good thing is if you do bake with shells in it, it'll all float to the bottom. They all, so if you ever flip over a cake, anything that's like hard that didn't get mixed, it'll all fall to the bottom. So that's a good thing for us bakers. We could just take the bottom off. Oh. Or you can pick the little shells out with a little toothpick. That's nice. So get, as, a, as a fun fact, if you ever had eggshells, I mean, you're not going to die if you eat it, but nobody wants to be sitting there crunching on a soft cake. No. <laughs> so if you do um, have eggs that, um, that fall, it, it will, I mean, go when the cake, they'll all fall to the bottom. And you'll see it if you flip the cake over. I didn't know that. Yep. All, every, anything that's impurity, like any type of hard substance, it's that's typically like when you when you're mixing like um, uh, like chocolate chips or stuff like that, it all falls to the bottom. Well, cool. okay. Yeah, that's why you always see that you see the heaviest amounts of chocolate chips or nuts. They all go to the bottom of the cake because they're he they're heavy, so they go they always go to the bottom. The things you learn. Yeah. Different people. And, and she over here just like, uh, please drop something from me, please. It's from your son. Sasha, no. Sasha Lee and Bobo? Uh -huh. I was saying, when you said Sasha, I thought about Sasha Lee and Bobo. So her name is Sasha Lee. Is it really? <laughs> oh my gosh. On purpose? Or I what? gave her a little name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sasha Lee and Anderson. Wow. So as you hear her, she gave her dog a middle name. Do I need to say more? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so anyways, we mix all all six of those together. Alright. You see how that so you see how that's like really fluffy? Oh yeah, that's very so I uh, let me see. You tell me how if they can see this fluffiness or not. Let's see. Go bring it down just a little bit, right okay. there. Yeah. Can y'all see that consistency? That's what, that's how it should be. Before it already looks like cake mix and we haven't even put the flour in yet. That's what it should look like. It's like it's about the same heaven. Right. Like what her shirt yeah, says. Show them the shirt again. Heavenly dough. Yes. The dough is inspired by from Louisiana and yes. Creole. So if you can't hear her accent, she real country. <laughs> well, no, Southern or what do you call that? Real Creole or whatever. Um, that geeshy. Oh my God, that's what Greg says. He's like, you geeshy? Okay. Cook. Can you see that? Okay. All right. So anyways, the next step we're going to do um, is... Flour action. Yeah. So, okay, let me open this for you. Okay, so she's oh, oh um, show them the thing that we use, the, the okay. flavor. So we're gonna use some strawberry bakery emulsion. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? You want me to turn the camera so they can see us? Yes. Let That's go. good. That's good right there. Good right there? Yeah. Alright, so this is what we're using. This is from Michael's. Yes, it's a strawberry um emulsion, and this is one of my favorites because I was both uh, Misha and I, we, we like strawberries, but we don't like the actual strawberries in the cake. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to, uh, those strawberries in the cake, you want the strawberry flavor, this is what you're going to use. Like, I don't know if you can actually see the lettering. But anyways, it's from Michael's. It's um, by um, Lorraine Gourmet, Gourmet. So anyways, um, this is the flavor that we're going to use. They have all different flavors. So if you want another flavor, um, yeah, we can really stop that. So if you want a different flavor, you can choose that. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape down the size. If you want to uh, go ahead and measure out three cups of uh, cake flour, so you notice that there's a uh, a theme to what we're doing. Everything has been three so far. See how easy, easy to remember this recipe? If you ever forget, if you want to make a quick cake, if you're on a cooking show, and they say you got ten minutes, 10 minutes to make a cake, make a pound cake. It's easy. You don't need no you don't need any any rising um, elements to it. You don't need any baking soda or no baking powder. It's really easy. So, um, so this is a really easy recipe. Of course, usually when we're doing a video, it takes longer because we're trying to teach you all. We have to take the steps to, you know, be patient with you all, and y'all be patient with us because we get in this camera situation together. Because usually Mario will be controlling this whole thing, but he's not here. So um, sometimes you, I might have to like take the thing off so y'all can see it or turn it around. But do you need a sister? No. So the good thing about that's another thing. So the good thing about cake flour. You don't have to sift cake flour. It's already pre-sifted for you. 
Uh uh-uh, uh, yeah. That, like so the, the, the major difference between cake flour and all purpose flour is it's already pre sifted. And it, cake flour is very light and fluffy because they pretty much sift all the all the other, uh-huh, which is pretty much. Uh, yeah, so if you didn't know that, you don't have to sift cake flour. They, they already did it for you. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, more than three and a half. Um, well, we'll, be, we'll just leave a little teeny bit at, at the bottom. Okay, so uh, we got our uh, mix in here. I'm going to show you that. So I'll let you. Let's take it off right here. Yeah, let's show. Let's take it off so we can let them see it. Yeah. I don't believe in wasting stuff. Though. Right. We don't get all that. Yeah. Can I lick the spoon? Huh? Can I lick the spoon? He, he, he easily licks it. Can y'all see that? No. It already looks like cake mix. I mean, I spilled it though. Okay, so now that at this point we're gonna add our um, our flavor. Yes. She yeah. said, "Waste not, want not." Mm -mm. We don't waste cake. It's all in the pan. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and um, let me make sure I lock that. Yeah. Make sure the bowl is secure. <laughs> so we're gonna mix. Now this is where I move with the spirit. Y'all know I always put to the spirit tells me to stop. So I don't typically measure my abstracts, my flavorings, you know. So I just go into, into, into he whispers in my ear and okay. say. All right, well, let's see what he okay. said today. So. Oh, yeah, I was opening that. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> Commercial break. <laughs> Commercial break. So um, we're actually gonna do, I'm gonna, we're gonna do dinner with them, their meal preps in between our um, break and we're gonna come back and show you all the final results. So again, Mario's showing you, see, he already working with me while I'm in the commercial break. He's showing you all, all the things that you need to um, follow uh, if you wanna follow my girl, Nisha, okay? Now we're gonna bring it back, so I'm gonna show you all the, the flavor that I use. Again, show you all that. Can y'all see? The strawberry, this is strawberry emulsion. And I'm just gonna go, if I had to tell you the measurements, it's about two mm. tablespoons. And it smells amazing. It, it smells oh like strawberries. It smells amazing. Guys. And you don't really need like an extra uh, 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 mm. a food coloring. Sometimes I add a little bit of pink to kind of like boost the flavor, but you really don't need it because it already turned to pink. But if you want to, you can add some pink in there. It's totally up to you. It's, it's just the flavor. It's just the color. I like, wish y'all could God. smell this. It, I know, I, oh my God! If there was a smell button on here, oh. I would I would share it with y'all. But it smells so good, and it tastes like it smells. Mm -hmm. um, so while that's going, um, I'll let you. You're gonna be at a little bit at a time. You're gonna add a little bit of that flour. I'll say about a cup of that, and then is this already the milk? I don't know how much. So we need a cup. So we'll just, I'll just use a cup of that. Oh, and this? Nope, I'll pour it back in. Okay. So um, the next thing is, so I put about, if I'm gonna give y'all a measurement, about um, about two, yeah, this, again, this is a very easy recipe. Uh, but, but um, yeah, so we got six eggs, pretty much um, three, three cups of um, sugar, three cups of flour, Three sticks of butter. The only thing that's six is the egg. So pretty much double. If that, if you want to remember, like just double it, double the amount of um, whatever. So we're gonna go. We're gonna tag team this. So she's gonna put a cup of um, the flour in there. So she's putting a cup of the flour. And so she's gonna do a cup, and I'm gonna come behind her. I'm gonna add just a little bit of milk. Oops, don't do that. Um, so right here, you can add, now if you're dairy free, you can use like dairy free butter and dairy free milk. Like, um, Nisha typically doesn't like dairy, but she's making a, uh, uh, she has her own. Well, I normally like, I use sour cream. I yeah, so you can do any type of dairy that you prefer. Like, as long as it, the, the there's a, like an even amount in there. So um, typically I use heavy cream. Um, heavy cream is really good. It's really thick. It's very fatty. Um, so I use, oh, you can go ahead and add more. 
we're just really talking. But um, so typically when I make my pound cakes, I use either buttermilk or heavy cream. Um, and because they're really thick, and I like that, it, it gives that extra moisture to what we're going to do. But um, whole milk works too. I, I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily say 2%. No. When I'm baking, two percent ain't gonna make it work. I need the fat. Yeah, it ain't gonna, when you when you baking, fat is important. Mhm. Um. Um. Uh, we got two okay. cups, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, you can put yeah about um half of what's left. Yeah, because we have to leave a little bit in there. Mm -hmm. It's a real pretty color, y'all. It's almost like a. Let me bring the camera. In. Let me see. Let me know if they can see this. Yeah. Can y'all see that? But it's like you can just see it turning. You can't really see the battery. Oh. So. Can you see that? Yeah. See it how pretty? It's like a rose gold. If there's a question. Uh, oh, what, what was the question? When is the cookbook coming out? No. Listen, the summer is where I'm going to really focus on that because um, I'll be free. I won't have class at the beginning of summer. Um, as I always say, I'm a, and life has been even more busier lately because of the... Um, Ellen show, you know, everybody want to interview and talk to us. Um, are you good? You can add the, um, the last of that. So, um, so yeah, I don't have a specific day, but the summer I'm going to do a lot more of my, um, a lot more writing in the summer. Mario gets on me all the time. Oh, your thing is right here. Your thing is right here. Mm -hmm. So Mario gets on me at all. What, how many customers did you do? Three total? Yeah. Well, we had, how many? Yeah, okay. So, um, Mario gets on me all the time about, um, where's my song? Um, Mario gets on me all the time because he always say, babe, when you go on vacation, you need to be, um, you need to be, uh, writing your recipes and stuff. And I say, babe, when I go on vacation, that's my vacation. And this vacation, I don't want to do work. I don't want to do schoolwork. I don't want to do homework. Henceforth, while I'm not in class right now, I call my professor and tell I'm not coming to class tonight. You know, so I just, I don't want to do it. Um, so um, in the summer, when I have time, when I'm not in school, I don't have class at the beginning of summer, I'm going to take that time to do a lot more writing. Because in case you didn't know, writing recipes takes a while. Um, because you got to fail 17 times. But the good thing is I've already failed a lot of times, so I have the recipes and I got to put them out of my brain into a piece of paper. Can you see the comments and stuff in there? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more flour, only because we use milk, and it's a little bit looser. So, um, Dee Dee asked that I love your shirt. I love that your shirt matches the mixture. and what a gorgeous kitchen to bake in. Loving it. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes, this is her kitchen. It ain't mine. We work hard for this kitchen. Absolutely. It ain't mine. I'm just here uh, tearing it up. But I clean up what I mess up. So, um, so anyways, I'm going to bring this back so we can. Okay. Um, okay. So um, we're pretty much almost done. I mean, it was really easy and quick. It was, it was very simple. Very cool. So I'll go back over the recipe, what we did. Okay. The cake mix is already ready. I'm going to kind of stir it up. We're going to get all the. Oh, yeah. You can. Oh, and that's another thing. So I typically don't. I, I usually forget to taste my stuff, but you can taste whatever you want to make sure you, you want to add more strawberry. You know, it's up to you. So this is your house and your rules. So I actually do like you. I like the rules. I bake it and yeah, it and just hope that it comes. Well, typically, yeah. see, I have Mario. And he likes to he likes to bake. Can I lick the spoon? And I I made bread, taste everything. I'm a taste this. Yeah, Mario is my taste tester. <laughs> he. I don't like to taste things while I cook. For some reason, I just go with the Lord's help. Yeah, Mario. Even though he's my husband, he gets paid to test the food. And when I say paid, hey, he get paid when when the check comes in. Oh, you got the baby. Yeah, she got her little baby in the back. I don't know if y'all can see him. He's so handsome. He's just back there just chilling. He's just as bright as his mom. So um, I'll just go ahead and taste it and see if you want more strawberry in there or not. Um, it's probably okay. She's going to taste it for y'all to see if we need more strawberry. Don't worry, need the clean spoon. Oh, don't worry. Hey, but by the way, we're going to eat this cake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to eat this cake. Yeah, we're going to eat this cake. Oh, don't worry. And by the way, we got to eat this cake. So at your house, if you want to taste it, you yeah. sorry. If you, I don't typically taste my customer stuff. Don't get me wrong. But if, we're making this for her, so they get to taste whatever they want. If she wanted to double dip, triple dip, it's her 
her business. No, that's good. So that's you, like, he's got enough strawberry? Yeah, that's Okay, that's so she good. said it's perfect and that's it. So we already we already greased our pans. She used, um, you want, what was the stuff again? Kate Goop. She used Kate Goop. Um, let's show them that one more time for the people that just came in. Is it on here? Um, hey, Susan. Is it still on here? Huh? Is the Kate Goop still on here? Oh, it's right here. Mar, are you asking me a question? Oh, no. Okay. Here's the Kate Goop. It's, I pre make it and it lasts you for a while. You, don't, you make it like once and it lasts you a couple of months. You just put it in your pantry and forget about it. Right. So now I'm going to have to find out how to make that because, again, she taught me something new. But she anyway, she floured this pan. She said that she she prefers, she liked this one with the Kate Goop. And she's tried that. So I'm learning something new today. So we're going we to um, we pray. pray that it comes out well. If it don't, oh well, it's our business. So anyways, um, the cake mix is done. She already tried it. Um, we don't have, you know, she tasted it. No. How do you turn? Oh, okay. So mine is different. Mine just comes up. I got the, I got the yeah, it's a little bit bigger. It's a, a, a eight quart or a 10 quart. Oh, excuse me. No, because I'll be baking in that. You see? Yeah, I'll be. Yes, I started off with this. Mario will tell you, Mario bought that was among the most expensive gifts that Mario bought me. Okay, Mario. He bought me that for Christmas. How many years ago, babe? Oh, 40 days and 40 nights. Don't waste that ask my sister. You know. How many years ago was that, babe? 40 days and 40 nights. Oh, my God. <laughs> he bought that, I think, in 2015. He's still, still working to pay it off, huh, Mario? <laughs> 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 it was the one, it was the best investment because it, it had already paid itself off. Exactly. I don't make so many cases. Listen, it, it has already paid its way off. So, anyways, um, yeah, mine just comes. I just, I just, um, um, the little rail, uh -huh. <laughs> and it breaks to go down. Okay, let me see what you're saying. Mind you, you're such an inspiration. Thank you, Tammy. Yes, yes. Hey, Jay. Um, we got to do a cook session together. Uh oh. You let me know because you know I'll swing by your house. That's another. She, she's a uh, Jay. I don't know if you remember, but she. Um, probably don't remember. But anyways, um, <laughs> she is an inspiring chef. She's in uh, school right now to be a chef. Ooh. Yes. You ever need a she taste goes, test? Or? Yeah, she does the savory side. Ooh. Nisha's doing the baked side, and she does the savory side. I like to cook, but not for a large amount of people. Let me. I got my excuse me, which when I get back, I got a, a wedding I got to do. Ooh, they can be blessed. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, so anyways, we're pretty much done with this recipe, y'all. Um, let me show y'all the batter. Can y'all see that? Look at that heavenliness. Look at that. Come come back in one more time so they can see your uh, apron, please. Okay. One more time. 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 Y'all support my girl, y'all. Yeah. Heavenly dough. Y'all support my girl. If y'all want to um, um, send her a little donation, she just started her business. Her cash app, and you can follow her on her Instagram. Look how smooth that is. That looks beautiful. You can't tip. Great, look at it. Look, at look, look what your wife did. Look how smooth that is. That's our cake chip. Y'all about to stop playing. Y'all about to stop playing with my friend. Yeah. She don't play. If, if I was uh, if I was controlling the camera, I'll show you my pigeon feet. I know, like the feet. Yeah, I will show you my pigeon feet. I'll do that later. So, anyways, <laughs> we're gonna go in here. Ooh, look at it. Boy, my goodness, it. that looks so good. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Man, he's already had enough cake. I had made that whole cake before I left. You never had too much cake. I guess. I guess. We even got extra dough. Extra batter. Yeah, we got it because we don't really need that much. Yeah, I'm here for You can say that extra stuff when I get there. You got two days. He got. You'll be here in two days. We'll say Anyway. We'll be here. Yeah, they're going to be gone. Oh, dang. I'm, I'm just upset that I that I found out that you do hair and you could give me a box style. Yeah, so guys, not only do I make oh, oh here we go, put the plug in, <laughs> put the plug in. Bye, So I work full time as a dental assistant and I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Yes. So I'm... I just dibble and dabble in everything that I can. Listen, she could have had my hair done. I'm don't worry about it. I'm taking it out. So I'll make a little mini strawberry. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I love those. Those are my favorite by Wilson. Yes. Okay, let me get I want to use this stuff. Right here. Okay, y'all. So 
this is good. Now, y'all not going to be able to see the whole process of this bacon. We're pretty much done. Now, with this paper, I've been using the parchment paper at the bottom. Okay, whatever you want, I, okay, whatever you want to do. Now, like these are, yes. They like to stick in it. They do sometimes. You done said we about so, done like 10 times. <laughs> what you said, man? You said we about done like 10 times. No, we aren't. <laughs> so it's already in the oven. Put my, let me set my timer. Here, here's the part of the paper. Um, Hold on. Oh, that's back. Let's start with 50 minutes. It'll probably um, take a little bit um, less than that. Okay. Y'all give me a second. Y'all be patient with me and stop judging me over there. Oh, see? You're great, Tom. Let's start with 50 minutes. So I'm going to start off with 50 minutes. Now, we're in Florida, and um, Florida has um, a different altitude that, that, that matters, too. Mm -hmm. I heard they're pre-pulled. Oh. Oh, no, never mind. I thought they were pre Oh, okay. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. And you can just oh, she fancy, y'all. Kind of. <laughs> Ooh, like, she's trying to tell me I need to step my game up, y'all. <laughs> um, I do know that they, they sometimes have... Um, yeah, sometimes they, they do have the ones that you can just put right in there. They do. Um, I haven't bought them yet. Yeah, and I see them on Amazon. I sell them and get some. Get but luckily, I've been I've been blessed lately that that Baker Joy has been doing good to me. Yeah, I just noticed with this pan in particular that sometimes it will stick, no matter how much cake you buy put. Yeah. And then um, the sides won't, but definitely the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And Nisha, what type of pan are you using? This is a Wilson pan. I use the same pans. Like, Wilton makes everything that you need for bacon. Absolutely. Wilton is our, a lot of bakers' favorite um, um, pans and, and products. It's worth um, They're at Michael's, Amazon, Walmart, Walmart uh, probably any major store that you, you know, do you, let, do you put more? No, or is that that's enough? good. And I put the goop oh. around. Okay. I just need that to the bottom to ensure that it will not stick at all. Okay. And this is just a little cute side cake anyway for, for you and the family. Yeah, exactly. Well, so, okay. I'm going to eat all this cake. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyways, um, so do you, do you remember the recipe or do I need to repeat it? I'm going to repeat it to the hours to finish out what we did. Okay, so I know that we use six eggs. We use one cup of milk. Mm -hmm. We use three sticks of butter, mm -hmm. three cups of sugar. Sugar yep. and flour. Three yeah, three flour. cups of flour. So everything is three except for the eggs. So three cups of, uh, like she said, three cups of sugar, three um, three sticks of uh, butter, and it's really important to keep it room temperature. Yes. You everything. want to um, you want to make sure it's room temperature. Everything is, and in, um, in, in the in the kitchen is very important that you. Um, Keep anything be room temperature. Your milk, your any any of that you want it to be room temperature because you don't want cold chunks inside of your batter. Henceforth, you see how smooth our our um, batter was. And look at that. Can y'all see that? This is because we use room temperature products. If you don't use room temperature products, you're gonna have lumps in your cake, and your cake is gonna have holes in it when it comes out, and it's just not gonna be pretty, you know. So, anyways, um, that's what we did. Um, <laughs> so I'm I'm using this for the first time, y'all, and I'm actually pretty excited because I never used it before. So again, I learned I learned something new today, and I got to figure out how to make this. I think her name is Sugar Geek. I'm gonna look. Her yeah, she's gonna let me know. If y'all wanna know, I'll post it in here when I find out. I'll post it on my page, one of the two. I say her name all the time, but because I need to know it, I just can't remember. Yeah. And you really don't need that much. You just need enough to coat the yeah. bottom of the pan. So it's called the Sugar Geek Show on YouTube. Okay. She has a great channel. She makes some amazing cakes, and I'm always watching her. Or like when I first started really getting into baking, I would get, find a lot of her videos very helpful. Mm -hmm. And that's where I got the um, cake loop from. She, um, if you go, I can show you guys. <clears throat> oh, she's going to show y'all. So. I'm back here just. This is the lady. I don't know if you guys can see it. Go this way. But um, if you go to her YouTube channel, she will show you how to make the cake loop. What her name is? I've been using it for like a year now, and I love it. What's her name again? Uh, what you say? It's called the Sh um, Sugar Geek Show. Just go to her YouTube channel if you need any tips. You think about Perry? Huh? You think about Perry? No, Lila. Oh. Uh, you gonna change the brakes in the car? Uh, <laughs> um. 
So Mario is in Nebraska, y'all. He's not here with me. If you didn't know, he is um, back at home. And, um, yeah, we just, you know, just enough to, like, you know, be cheap or whatever. Taste yeah, just enough. And that was because we used milk. So milk is loose. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Because we, we use that milk. If you use heavy cream, yeah, you probably won't have it. So we should use some heavy cream so I can see what that's about. It's literally still one cup though. Yeah. The same, but it's it's, it's just thicker. thicker. And, and typically when you get a powder, you want it that you want that thickness. Okay. But this gonna be just as fine. Why are you switching up? Um, I, I honestly forgot to say heavy cream. Yeah, I forgot to say heavy cream, but it's fine. Um. <clears throat> so. Now we have everything in the oven. I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna, um, we're gonna wrap up um, this video. Um, if you have any questions, um, again, you can follow her on her platforms um, that Mario has posted in here somewhere. Um, <laughs> of course, you can always ask me any questions. You already know where to find me because you're on live. And um, yeah, we'll come back and we'll do a final video to show y'all how it came out. Um, again, my first time using the cake gooey stuff and also cooking this in the state of Florida because again altitude matters too. In Colorado, Nebraska where we are, the altitude is much higher so I have to add more things that I didn't have to, you know, that you don't have to add down here. So all of that matters. Um, we thank you all for tuning in. Please show my girl some love and support. If you're here in the area, you need your hair done. What else you say you did? My dental assistant. Dental assistant. Me. Look at this gorgeous <laughs> smile she got. Y'all stop playing with her. Dental assistant, um, hair. Uh, she's now started her business journey for um, um, uh, baking small cakes and stuff like that. Eventually, I'm sure she's gonna grow super big. Matter of fact, a lot of y'all always ask me here, my friends from Tampa, when can you come do me a cake? Well, I mean, I can't be here. So, um, if you have something, again, she's still, she's still starting off. So don't be asking her, can she do a seven tier, you know, SpongeBob cake? You know, she's. <laughs> you know, if you want like pound cakes or something like that, like, you know, reasonable for her to do. Like the cakes taste great. Yeah. The decorations I'm working on. She's still working that. We all have to work on it. And that's how we learn. Because I look at back at some of my cakes, my customers used to say, oh, my God, it's so cute. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, I did that. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, you look back at it. But, you know, you just learn. That's how we learn with anything. So, right. again, show my girls some love and support. We thank you all for tuning in. Um, we will do a follow-up video, just a quick um, live to show you all like the final product. We're gonna clean up and then we're gonna just chat and have a little good time. We're gonna make some dinner for them. And um, I'm excited. So again, we love you all. Um, if you're already not follow, if you're not following me on my YouTube channel, follow me at Cooking with Chef Monty. You can also follow me and Mario's page outside of this if you want to follow our surrogate journey. It's a huge, huge, huge journey. Journey. Um, you can follow us on our um, platforms there. And I don't think I'm missing anything. Oh, hey everybody. Okay, hey. we're back. <laughs> Um, so while y'all were away, um, we, we were over here just, um, you know, cooking up some food. Yep. Um, no, you gotta, I want you to do that. Anyways, uh, we was over here just cooking up a dinner. Um, can you hear me, babe, uh, on here? Okay. Let me know if you can hear me. I don't know if you can. But anyway, so we're coming back. We're gonna, um, ice our cake. Can you see that? Can you see it? We're only gonna show you the pretty side. Can you see it? Okay, so we're going to make our icing. I got one stick of salted butter. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the microwave. I don't wanna just be splashing stuff. Oh, there you go, perfect. Look at you. Okay, oh, so um, we're just gonna um, get, get some melted butter. Um, we got powdered sugar. Vanilla extract, we got, um, yeah, just something to That's whisk it on over. Yep. Yeah, you, you, you got a small whisk? I, if you don't, then you can just use that. Oh, this is cute. Well, okay. So, anyways, um, is your thing, uh, is your thing a lot too? No. Okay. You want to go yeah, just so I can see if the comment, because I can't see the comments on this. Babe, well, how come I can't hear you like I heard you before? Okay, anyways, uh, let me go. So, um, 
if you did not see my last video, um, my friend Nisha and I were in here baking a strawberry pound cake. Um, so we, we had to let it bake out or whatever. We had to let it cool. And now we're getting ready to do an icing for it. Now, this is a complete optional version of icing. You don't have to put this icing on it. Some people just like regular cake like that. Um, I think this needs a little bit of icing on it. Um, we're just doing, you can use um, milk. You can use a little bit of heavy cream. You can use water. You can use lemon juice. It's really what you want to. The basis of icing is powdered sugar and butter. Powdered sugar and some type of butter or fat. You know, that's what you need to make a good icing. Are you using milk? Um, just a splash, literally just a splash. We don't yeah, if you got a splash of it, that'd be fine. So, anyways, I got my melted butter. I am going to add some. I'm not really going to use no whole dish for this, so I'm just going to hope not to get a mess. Jesus. Don't jinx me. Don't look. Nobody look. Y'all cut y'all cameras off and don't look at me do this part. Just put your hand in front of the camera. Don't turn it off. Okay. Don't look at me, y'all. Y'all didn't look. See? Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. This is my first time having someone um, live with me that's actually a, ba um, a baker and somebody that knows what they're doing in the kitchen. Just a little bit. Um, and it's also my first time doing it in somebody else's house. What it was, doing, it's, I'm, listen, I, I was like, oh, Lord, I hope I don't tear up this lady's kitchen. You know, because sometimes when you bake, it get messy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we've been doing a really good job. Um, We've been doing a really good job. Can you know, um, Hi, Amber. Hey, Amber. Hey, Amber. Hey, Amber. Amber who? Hi. Oh, hey, Amber. Um, hey, everybody coming in. If you already, if you did not see us, our last video, we um, were in here making a um, strawberry pound cake. And right now we're just doing the icing for it, mm -hmm. which is super easy. We just got some melted butter. One stick of salt. One stick of salt, but and I would say about two cups of powdered sugar, because um, it really kind of just comes down. So y'all can see that, and you can get the consistency that you want. Some people like a thicker um, icing. Some people like a loose icing. We don't want too much icing because um, she's well, they're not heavy icing eaters. So we're not gonna do like a really thick one. We're just gonna um, do it. We're gonna try to loosen up as much as we can, so it's not really heavy. Um, just put some more of that in there, okay? And then I'm also gonna add some vanilla extract in there. Um, here's where you can differ. You could um, add whatever flavor you want. So if you were doing like a lemon pound cake, you can put lemon um, juice in here or lemon extract in here. If you were doing, um, sometimes I have vanilla bean if I'm trying to be fancy. That's what I'm being fancy. That sounds good. When I'm trying to be fancy, I'll put vanilla bean in there. Um, you can, we could have put strawberry extract in here because we're making strawberry pound cake, but you know, we're just going to keep a basic, you know, vanilla um, frosting. And then we're going to splash some of this milk in here. You can use heavy cream, buttermilk, um, just whatever kind of um, um, liquid you want. You can even use water for a clear, if you want like a clear icing, you can use some water. So Morris says, You're doing amazing. Can't wait to see the finished masterpiece. Who said that? Morris. Oh, that's uh, that's nugget. You remember nugget from high school with dreads, light skin. I had to show you a I picture. picture. Yeah, Morris was he was he was a popular kid in high school. You'll you'll you know if I should show you a picture. You're like, oh, that's him. You probably know him by another name, but I know him by nugget. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know nugget. Yeah, nugget. Um, I can't post a picture, Morris. I can see. <laughs> um, post a picture in the comment below. Um, I know how about nugget. So, so anyway, you see that consistency, that loose consistency? That's kind of what you want because you want to be able to put the icing over it. See that? So again, if you want to know how we made this pound cake, it's going to be on my YouTube channel. Um, you can also go to um, my live from earlier. If you're following Nisha and not me, you can follow, um, you can follow her on her YouTube channel. Um, not YouTube channel, I'm sorry. Her fake... Her Facebook or her Instagram. By the way, she has, um, uh, let me see. Okay. So by the way, she has her, um, she started her own new, new baking business for like little small cakes. 
You want to show them your again, apron again? Again, my little apron says heavenly dough. Yeah, you want to fill them about that. Uh, going back over here. Um, heavenly dough, I just started baking about a year ago. And I just started decorating cakes about a few months ago. So I only do the basic simple cakes, you know, meant like mm, not the crazy design that you see with the fondant. I just kind of stick with the buttercream or cream cheese icing designs. Mm -hmm. And I'm working my way up to the baking needs. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, so if you're local in the area and you want something, you know, um, you know, tossed up real quick, nothing too crazy yet, you know, hit my girl up. So anyways, um, this is. Somebody has a question? Ash, you should have said, hey, so probably. Oh, what's up, Ash? I went to high school with her in Virginia. So this is the consistency that we're going to do. And we're just going to take our cake like this, and we're just going to do a nice little drizzle over top, as little or as, as less as you want. Mm -mm. You know, it's your business. Do what you want to do. And um, oh, if nobody likes it, you tell them to stop playing with you. Mm -hmm. So you just go until the spirit tells you to stop or until you want to stop. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Yeah, we, I wish I could taste and smell with this cake. Well, we did get to try some of the cake earlier, but we haven't tried it with the icing. But, yo, know, this is what we do, y'all. And, and if you want it to be fancy, you can put some fresh strawberries on top, some more powdered sugar on top. You can put some, I don't know, what else could you put on top? Um, chocolate chips, white chocolate. You know, whatever. You, it's your business. Do what you want to do. What's going to make you happy. So anyways, this is a really quick live. We just came in to show you how we do what we do. So you see that? Do you take EBT? Um, I do take EBT as long as they don't bounce back. I'm like, is that a question for me or my Whoever. Because I'm here for it. <laughs> right. Look, she got a baby boy. Y'all see that? I have a one-year-old. I'm here for Get into that. Somebody get into that strawberry cake. and yes. stop. Stop playing with us. Stop playing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It, it looks so good. Anyways, we thank you all so much yes. for watching. If you did not see um, our video from earlier, please go back on my Facebook page or on Nisha's Facebook page. Um, please make sure you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, click like and share. Um, if you would like to um, donate to any of our platforms, you can do so. Margaret um, probably has it somewhere on there where you can see it. Um, if you want to sew into her life and her start her new business, please support my girl, Nisha. I'm not here in Tampa permanently. Obviously, I'm here temporarily. So if you have something um, local for her that she can do, you know, if you want something like this, now she learned how to do pound cakes, and so now she can start probably doing more pound cakes. I do like a good living pound cake. Yep, see? So if you want a pound cake just like this, hit her up. She's in the Riverview area. So, you know, I'm sure she probably can tell you the areas that she can service, but... Um, hit her up. We're trying to promote her, uh, her new business and everything like that. If you're local where I live, you already know where to come find what you need. So yeah. we love you all. Thank you all for the support. And um, until next time, we, we appreciate you. If you're not having a great day, if you haven't had a great day, find a reason to make it great. We out. I know you're going to like this one. Stop playing with me.